As sirens filled the air in Jerusalem on October 7th, Rachel Goldberg received a WhatsApp message any mother would find alarming. The first one said, I love you. And the second one said, I'm sorry. Witnesses would later tell her what happened, how Hamas terrorists attacked the music festival. Her son Hirsch was attending an hour and a half away near the Gaza border, how he tried to escape but couldn't and ran to a roadside bomb shelter, how Hamas hunted them, throwing grenades, spraying machine gun fire, like shooting fish in a barrel. Hirsch lost an arm but survived. Hamas took him to Gaza as a hostage. That's the last that we have any information about him. An estimated 240 people were kidnapped, citizens of 30 different countries and at least five religions, to be held as human bargaining chips. Hirsch is one of 10 Americans. It's so psychologically, emotionally, spiritually and physically painful all at the same time. In cities across America, friends and family members hanging posters of kidnapped loved ones. You're tearing down my cousin. Almost as fast as they can put them up, anti-Israel demonstrators tear them down. Why are you ripping these down? Because it's no. false information. To me personally, I just think it shows that people really are not educated about what's going on here. The White House not commenting on the issue. Just not going to go into uh, specifics on that. How hopeful are you at this point um, that you'll get to see your son again alive? Hmm. Well, I have no choice but to be optimistic and um, you know, otherwise I don't think I could get out of bed in the morning. Rachel tells me her son Hirsch spent years saving up to spend a year or two traveling the world. He booked a flight for December 27th. She's praying one day he'll be able to go. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.